The arts community in Jacksonville is so important, and one young local woman is trying to help add to that by teaching young girls ballet. Our Elizabeth Campbell has more on the Monet School of Ballet. Well, I started dancing at the age of three, and then I went on to art schools in elementary, middle, and then all the way up to high school. And then my senior year of high school, I got injured with a tibia stress fracture. Leah Simpson healed from her injury and was on her way to the University of Hartford on a full scholarship. Sadly, she was injured again, so she came home unsure of what her next move was. Now the doctor said dancing wasn't an option. I went to my old middle school teacher and I asked her, what am I going to do with my life now? And she goes, well, you know you don't need a degree to open a ballet studio. And I was like, hmm, well then, I'm going to run with that. So that's when I started Monet School of Ballet. At the young age of 19, Leah opened the Monet School of Ballet in January of last year. They offer classical ballet training and contemporary dance. The only thing she's more passionate about than dance is her students. Sometimes teachers are a little too strict about certain things and sometimes you need basically almost like a second mom to cater to them and it's ballet is hard. <laughs> it's so hard to do and you don't want to be too hard on the kids with it but at the same time you have to let them know that you got to be focused. She says there's a lot of mental and physical stress that can come with ballet. Not only does Leah teach her students about dance, but also self-worth, something she learned to appreciate through personal experience. Well, when I used to dance, it was hard because most of the teachers were saying, you know, you can't be a ballet dancer. Look the way, you know, your muscles and the way you're shaped. You're not skinny and long legs, but they told me to do modern and I'm like, that's not me. Ballet is me. So I decided I'm going to focus on ballet. I'm going to find a studio that loves me for me. And I was able to find that studio, which is Back Studio Ballet. Leah has love and respect for her students, and the feeling is mutual. She inspires, inspires me, and she does, and I think she does a really good job when she's dancing. Mia and fellow dancer Amaya love the way dancing makes them feel. Just expressing, my, expressing myself through my dances and having fun. Feels good. I, I really like it. Leah can't believe how quickly her studio is growing and can't wait to continue instilling dance and confidence in these young children. Just to be able to grow with them, you know, lead, guide them through the way, I think that's my main goal and to just grow. Dance means life to me. I eat, sleep, breathe it. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. I'm inspired to do that. Beautiful, beautiful. You would fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> so 19, she started this up at only 19 years old. Yeah, she's 19 now. Not only is she running the ballet school, she's also enrolled right now in Jacksonville University. So she is a busy, talented girl. Yeah, absolutely. Now her students have their first recital tomorrow at LaVilla School of the Arts. She says they are so excited. And if you want to sign up your child or look into more of what they offer, you can find that on their website. We've provided a link to that on our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click on the upper right-hand corner. All right, thank you. We'll be back right after this.